Like even when he wasn't yeah, that yeah. he was low strong. So the thing is like just like dash stand punch. fierce. Straight. Not not that right. And just let him let him chill. Oh. So now he's in the corner. Here we go. Thank so you. straight. Defense. So he's, he's almost up on health. Yeah. And that's okay. We mix up here, the only thing that's gonna turn it. Nice. I like that throw, swap so right that's, there. So that's two hundred sixty damage that Balrog's taken, but that's nothing. And here's another setup right here. Okay, so it's one B. Let be. Anti air. Okay, okay, good blocks. Good blocks from Alex. Another good block. I would like to see like jump back too. Like a jump back button from Bower too would be a, would be a yeah. good wall. Yeah, because of course all those are really, really fun to just jump back fierce with Balrog. And even though that Alex really hasn't proven that Cha that uh, he has the reactions and necessarily ult one through fireball, I like that Chachi is not even going to take that chance and is still like, you know, I'm this far away, not throwing fireballs, you know. It seems like Chachi's been going in every, like, the entire time. Like, he's oh, yeah. just been, like, jumping around. Well, just like we saw in the previous match where we needed we needed Toby to prove to Hal Forte that he could deal with the, over, the, the splash game, and he never really did. Yeah, it's the same thing. He's been, Chachi he's been, he's been flipping like, yeah, crazy. As soon as I start getting anti-aired, I'm going right, to all so change my go. game plan. So now we just need to... That was really... Huge. I like that. Here we go. So, so okay, okay, here we go. Just walk back. Okay, that's fine. 130 damage. That's okay. So let's see Balrog. Get out. Nice. Good. Okay, but then he took some unnecessary damage there. More I'm unnecessary saying, damage. Man. No. You wanted deep. You got exactly what you wanted. You made your bed. Now you must sleep in it. Okay, nice stagger. Okay. So now we're just, let's see. Let's, let's watch uh, Alex just chill here. One, that one sweep from Balrog. Whoa. Wow. That's going to actually... Oh, uh, too quick. Oh, no DP. punish though. DP. All right, so I, I like probably not going to be super uh, stoked about that. I know I, I, I could tell he was figuring it out, but it's just a little bit too, too little, too late. Next up, <sighs> Brad and Mason on stream. The internet might come back. It's going to be hard to ghost ghost uh, the bracket with no internet. You just got to ghost him in. It's all about that. It's all about that mental game, dude. Okay, so here's what we have to do. The internet might come back. I'll have to handwrite this bracket. You got a paper? Thank Ryan. All right, so we're gonna have a backup computer set up shortly, so we can run that bracket. Ryan's office chair too strong, dude. Final, final boss fight, Street Fighter Five. Nah. Final boss fight, Street Fighter Five. Ryan's office chair. You just switched. Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll we'll take care of it when you guys sit down. What? So uh, who's that? Oh, Are they're switched ready? on controllers? Shouts to Mason Tiny was John Cena fan. Still in winners round one, of course. Okay, uh, John Cena fan, he's been switching around between Ryu and Rose, and I think he's finally found his home again back at Ryu, which I'm really glad. Ryu is really his fan. His Rose game was pretty much like Ryu. He was trying to play Ryu with Rose, and of course it doesn't work. Her fireball's super slow, and she plays a lot differently. She plays a lot more, I'd say, like Sakura than anything. Do you know what I told him? I told him. Fair enough. I see. Yun, Rose, um, Evil Ryu. Those yeah. are your options. And he's like, okay, uh, Rose seems really good. And I was like, all right. I was like, here's what's going to happen, dude. You're going to pick up Rose. You're going to have limited success. Eventually, you're going to get beat enough, and you're going to go back to Ryu. But you're going to... Well, the things you learn with Rose are going to only help your Ryu game. By, vice versa, as everybody knows, in Street Fighter, the fundamental tools you learn with Ryu help oh, the wait, other characters. Even, even a crazy character like... Like, you would say, oh, I play C Fight. Yeah. Oh, there's no way Ryu. Sure. Hukko had one of the best Ryus in Venom. Yeah. And no, yeah. And then it's like, in Super, he comes back with something set and just blows everybody up. It's not, right. it's not because of chance. He doesn't just, you know. And, and already, like, you know, not having Joey Rose, Joe. the kind of things I would talk about is, you know, not playing with Rose, you don't have a free reversal, right? No. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ring the bells. Ding. Oh, a ref didn't see it. A ref didn't see it. <laughs> Yo. Um, but I like seeing the the. You know, we talk we talk about Mason. He's the Ryu player. Big punish. No Ultra Two right there of his own. You both players using Ultra Two. They're trolling each other out right now. Yeah. 
Um, anyway, I like I like um, his defense is good. Um, his his anti air lacking a little bit. I would like to see that improve. Yeah, no, we, we are fears. we are. That's what we're trying to work on right now. Right now is this anti air. Of course, I've been trying to work on the past couple of weeks. But I want to see some anti air. I'm talking about okay, stand hard kick at this range. You know, crouch fears at this range. DP. Right. You know, what are they representing in the air? They're representing you know buttons in the air. So you use that stand oh, hard kick. Oh, good cross up opportunity. That's what I was gonna. That's what I want. Watch for ultra right here. Yeah, ultra two a dash punch. Thanks, dude. You, you're lifesaver. Shout out to Ryan Bidro. He should, he could have DP'd the dash punch right there. Or thrown it, at least. What? Wow, good patience. What? I mean... Is that Brad? Old, old Basin would have definitely jumped to that range. So, I agree with Vegas' uh, guess. Big damage early on. Oh, okay. Okay, so Rex was at Rex was at the tournament at max out. Uh -huh. He used low forward with Balrog, like it was freaking low forward with Ryu. Man, I don't even know what does low forward look like from Balrog. That's the that's like the like the low punch like this. Oh yeah. And it's like super meaty or it's super beefy, so it has like a tons of active frames. It's like plus five. Oh, on okay. Hit. It's super good because on counter you can confirm to low low. Uh, you can confirm to anything you want. You wow. can confirm to stand fierce, low sweep, or anything. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so Vegas it has tons of active frames too, and it's a meaty. You can OS into Ultra because wow. it's not cancelable or anything. Or or super as well. That's another one. Yeah, that was a good tournament. I'm sad I missed that. Yeah, no, there's German Luger is really good. I got sat with him, dude. He's super good. I really got I'm really glad it did. Anyway, back to the match. Vegas coursing on super, and we will not. I will guarantee you will see a super confirm here from Vegas, unless he beats up Mason enough where he doesn't even need to use it. Because we will see that stand forward into uh, super. I guarantee it. He's super good on those confirms. Yeah. So Balrog dash punch minus three on block. That, it's there it wow, is. Wow, nice stuff from Vegas. That thing is about Get that. Paid. Thing is, he was not out of range. He didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, he pushed a button. Uh, John. Yeah, but he didn't do it out of range and make John press a button. He actually did it in the range. Of, like that low, that stand forward is going to hit regardless. That is, that is, that's Brad. That is Brad right there. I don't care. Th if this, if this will get blocked, it will get blocked. I don't care. I'm just going to do it. And that's what he did. All right, guys. So. Bracket is now back online. Uh, you can check that out. So okay, I, got, it's back. I got three viewers. It's <laughs> back online. Yeah, it came. Internet came back. So Shout whatever. Uh, so yeah, the okay. So la the last piece of the puzzle what does here. Ninety percent mean. You know. I don't know what that means. That's that's Adam. He said he uh, he said he had some bad sushi on Saturday, and his entire Sunday was. All right, so right toilet. back into it. Oh no, we're buddy. We got we had a stick swap. Shout out to stick swaps. I had to do that at a. Uh, my stick died in the middle of that one match with that DiCaprio player. Oh, it sucks. See, why is this making me log in? That really makes me angry. Well, because it, it, it lost your cookies because of the bad internet. I don't know, man. I GG, dude. GG, dude. Combat slash PPC and G followed by today's date 040215. So we're back into it. So uh, Balrog's dash punch minus three on block. However, uh, that's not as true when you incorporate good spacing. Oh yeah, so, especially Brad with such, being good, such a solid player overall. Yeah, he, and, he, yeah, go ahead. He, he just simply does not give himself enough credit. He's an encyclopedia of this game, and anything he does will be calculated. He he plays with soul, but it's super calculated as well, and that's something to keep in mind when you're playing Brad. Well, I think, I, I think that yeah, Brad has a, a lot of good execution tools. Brad. You know, just you said he studies a lot about the game. Brad just needs more time playing because it's in, in, in situations. That's it. Yeah, because he's such a good player. Like I mean, right now, if he played confident like that every single game, he'd be such he, a good If he played in game like that, he'd beat him. Oh yeah. wait, oh wait, he already did. Shout yeah. out to Brad being good, and shout out to in gamer. He's really good too. He bought me yes. a max out. Shout out to Mr. Blake, Blake Senpai, please. Dude, he bought me a max out so hard. He's like, you know what your problem is? I'm like, yeah, you just play sucky in tourneys. Why don't you play this? In, you want to play like casuals like you do in tourneys? I wish I had knew. that confidence. I wish I knew. Uh, so, I have seen a couple dash punches that pretty much have been point blank. We're going <laughs> to see one right here. He's just been going in the entire time. Wow, he's he is disrespecting the shit out of Mason. Dude, right that's now. all he's doing. Good crouch entire. Fierce. See, this is what we need to see from Alex. Like, crouch Fierce. Just Over blow him. Good blow punish. Him. Wow, have another. another. Yeah, see, he have just another. Doesn't. This is confidence, right? And, like, you know, he could look like, oh, wow, that's so disrespectful. No, I see his confidence. <laughs> Crouch, strong, punish, and if two you smell, overhead. Yeah, if you smell blood in the water, you got to go and have that have this torpedo punch. Yo, Mason looks a little sad. Not gonna lie. Well, it's like it a stick issue. We got a couple sticks that have died. Both of them have been mine. Um, rest in peace. The other one's dead too. 
my orange and black ADOC okay. apparently has is, is got some wire fraying issues and my stand my SE has got some wire problems. Yeah, both of mine too. So I think we're gonna I think we'll have a big trip down to J Spots. Yeah, have big a party. family big family event. Alright, so that's gonna conclude our round one winner side. Uh, so we've got a couple guys that have been knocked into losers early on with Dallas Wardlow, young Toby Crab. Uh, L. Alex and John Cena fan. Those matches will not be filled out until we finish round two. So here's a, a sneak peek of what we got coming up next. A, ooh, a sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> oh, Robbie Votaw. Yo, All right, shout so to again, me. Uh, I don't know if we got a proper induction going here, but uh, I'm Robbie Votaw. We're broadcasting live here at PB Card and Game. Joining me on mic, Mr. Fireteam, Chris Becco. Of course. Also had uh, Mr. Mason Godding on earlier, as well as uh, Adam Barrett. Adam, Adam Barrett was Same hanging day. out. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Coming up next, uh, round two winners, we have Baja Boys Fire Dad, Momster69, Classic Akuma v. Akuma Action. Yeah. Uh, Eternal Toilet, Hell Fuerte, Robbie V versus uh, a myriad of tags plus Chachi, <laughs> and uh, Sonic Spire in Vegas. So right now, let's get uh, Eternal Toilet and Hell Fuerte on stream. And uh, we're going to be running our loser side of the bracket off stream. Uh, again, we don't have those matches filled out yet. Those will be filling out here um, very soon. Next couple games. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching Top of the Shot. And I say I am running things off of uh, XSplit, and XSplit messes with it messed with all of the native resolutions of my cameras. Yo. So like this is four by three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was about to say it looked, it looked like a four by three stretch. That, I stretched that. Yeah, that's four by three stretch. You can definitely yeah. tell. That's sixteen by nine still. That's fine. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's four by three stretch. But it's, totally. it's it's everything's a square. And, 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 <laughs> everything's uh, a square. Everything is a square except for our, our game source in XSplit, whereas it is a everything is a rectangle in OBS. Yeah. Um. So our our layouts. Uh, No, that, that stick's that's not going to work. Yeah, that stick does not work. I don't know. I got to crack it open. It was just where I was playing no, on No, no, no. You could see the fraying on the end. It's no, like, no, no. The stick isn't where I was using it yesterday. I was using it oh. yesterday. It's using Josh's stick. three dead sticks in the store right now. Yeah, dude. Ryan's dead. I have two dead sticks up there. The battle has begun. Shouts to freaking Chinese communism quality. The orange, the orange and black stick, though. I'm really mad. I'm really mad about. I love, I love eight arc sticks. I hate the doors because they break and then they just left. They just leave you with this sharp metal edge that your stick is just gonna. The wire is just gonna grind against. I feel like, yeah. I, I put electric with even mine last time. I should have done that yeah. months ago, and I just, I don't, I don't ever use that stick when I come to the store anymore. Yeah. I just wasn't really aware of it. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny. Shout out to. So we're gonna go and get to the back to the main game here. We got uh coming up from the left. North America, skyscraper. Destination confirmed. It's the battle of the century! Fight! Let's start with the guys we got set up now. We've got Hellforte versus Eternal Toilet. First, Eternal Toilet, Eternal Toilet, excuse me, is the uh, better known as Sendei. Uh, playing as Chun Li, like always, Adam, Mr. Adam Barrett, always representing. And uh, we got Hellforte, of course, representing as usual, uh, El Forte. We've got the Aztec going on. Of course, not nearly as annoying as that Blanca costume. But um, we're going to see him going in on Chun Li, of course, whenever she, she has simply no options against El Forte. Almost. Uh, off the ground, I mean, you got to utilize Chun Li's good back dash, but as far as reversal. Uh, the SBK is SBK sadder than is going to destroy Tortilla, or he's going to the grab. But I mean, if you know them, I mean, one of the national knowledge that Kyle should know going into this is that Chun Li has weak reversal options. So she's going to SBK. She has like one or zero. That's all she yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. There's no reason not to go ham with splashes. Um, that being said, as a charge character though, they're holding down back a lot, so the, the grab works. Just a matter of feeling out your opponent. I mean, really. As a character is like El Forte, who relies on uh, a mix-up game and, uh, and and things like that, the faster that you can understand what your opponent is capable of, is going to lead you to victory. Yeah, because of course, uh, it always depends what your opponent has in their toolbox, it's depending on what you have to do as a, as a uh, El Forte player. So there we see Simbae trying to represent SBK and wake up, but actually messes up the input. And yep. now we have the uh, RSF loops coming up. 
Oh, oh never mind. I, I love that. I love that combo. That Sam Fierce and the. Wow, another splash. Yep. Hold that. Yeah, I mean, this is how he should have played against Toby, to be honest. Last point versus uh, Eternal Toilet. So, Hellforte, of course, as you said, going in. Tons of meter. Of course, Hellforte doesn't really use meter as effectively as a lot of other characters. He doesn't have really a good use for it. But his, his use of meter comes in the form of basically two. There's the that. Wow, he got off the wall. Hype. Hype, dude. Uh, you only get the wall bounce off the counter hit. Yep. Close any, the stun. Any, oh, wow, the reset. Just, yeah. Uh, uh. What? Nah, he got he got in his head. I got a perfect this guy. 